Hey there, I'm not Dan, but in this video we're going to be learning about pressure and volume. It's... Been better nights are calling, can't find no sleep. Can't you see I'm falling? Oh no. Welcome back. This is our third video in a series on the variables that affect gas behavior. This one focusing on pressure and volume. Now this particular law is called Boyle's Law, which simply says that as volume goes up, pressure goes down. So this is an inverse relationship. And if you stop and think about it for a little bit, I'm sure it'll make a lot of sense to you. When you increase the volume of a gas, the gas molecules have more space to move around, thus making it less likely for them to actually run into each other, which if you recall is what causes pressure. But if you decrease that volume and force the gas molecules into a smaller space, well of course they're going to run into each other a lot more because there's not much space to move around. And that those collisions are really what causes that pressure to go up. Okay, so uh, Boyle's Law is an inverse relationship. And to see that in action, let's check out this demo. All right, so what I've got is a little mini marshmallow and a syringe. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna place the, the marshmallow on in there, put the piston on in, and you know, get real close so you can see it here. Now if I start changing the, the volume on the inside, nothing's really happening to the, to the marshmallow, and that's because while temperature is being held constant, the number of moles is not. Air can still get in and out of the top here. So I'm going to cap our syringe so that temperature and moles are being held constant. And now when I increase the volume, the pressure is going down on the inside and you can see the marshmallow actually increases in size because there's less pressure it's able to expand. And then when I decrease the, uh, the volume on the inside, uh, pressure goes back up, thus forcing the, uh, the marshmallow to go back down. So here you go, instant giant marshmallow. That's pretty awesome. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any further questions, please be sure to comment below. And if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot, guys. Remember, I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later.